Okay, I'm going to repeat this question that we did a little while ago, but this time instead of using long division, I'm going to use synthetic division. Here is the trick. You start by taking the 3 and you put it under the negative 2. Okay? Like that. So what you've really done is you've done a little factoring. You've said, I'm going to factor a 3 out. Sure enough, this times this equals that. This times this equals that. Now we're going to write out our synthetic division. So I'm going to do plus 6, plus 5. Notice there's no x squared, uh, no x term there, so I've got to put in a 0 for the x. And then I put in plus 7. This is going to be my remainder column. Now the number I'm going to put down here is negative 2 thirds. Exactly the same as it's there. And if I do that, my pattern is going to be subtract and then multiply. I'll do the same question afterwards where I put down positive two-thirds the way the book and some of the teachers do. Okay, so I'm subtracting. Six subtract zero is six. And I'm going to multiply. Now, two time, negative two times six is negative twelve divided by three is negative four. So multiply that way. Now we subtract. 5 subtract negative 4 is plus 9. Now I'm going to multiply this times that. Negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. Divided by 3 is negative 6. And subtract. 0 subtract negative 6 is plus 6. Now I'm multiplying again. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. Divide by 3 is negative 4. And subtract. 7 subtract negative 4 would give you plus 11. Here is my answer then. We started with x cubed, so this will be a 6x squared. And then a 9x, a plus 6, and a remainder of plus 11. So there is my quotient. Now if you compare that to the question we did here by long division, okay, you'll see that we get the exact same answer, um, almost, okay, but look, there's something wrong here. These guys are 6, 9, and 6. These guys are 2, 3, and 2. Well, here is the trick, guys. Originally, I factored out a 3, way up here. Okay? So what I've got to do is, I've used synthetic division to divide by the bracket. Now I still have to divide by that 3. So look what happens when I take 3 and divide it into that. Take 3 and divide it into that and take 3 and divide it into that. There is my proper quotient. And I can still keep the plus 11 as my remainder. Now I get the same answer as the question before. Okay. So the trick here is if you have a 3 or any number in front of the x, curl it underneath to make it that fraction, but remember, you're going to do synthetic division with the negative two-thirds over here. And once you're through, you've still got to divide your answer by that three, as I've done here. Everything divided by three gives me this line here. Okay, now as I promised you, I'm going to show you how we would do it. If we took the opposite of two-thirds and made it plus two-thirds here, okay, then our pattern is instead of subtracting, we're going to add going downwards, but still multiply going that way. Six and zero is six. Two times six is twelve. Divided by three is plus four. So 
So I've multiplied that way and subtracted that way. Uh, sorry, added that way. 5 and 4 is plus 9. 2 thirds of 9. 2 times 9 is 18. Divided by 3 gives me plus 6. 0 plus 6 is plus 6. 2 thirds of 6. Well, plus 2 times plus 6 is plus 12. 3 into 12 is plus 4. So that goes there. And I add and I get plus 11. We're still going to have to take all of these guys and remind ourselves from way up here that we have to divide this all by 3. So here is your final answer. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And this is going to be an x squared. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And that will be an x. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And we still have a remainder there of plus 11. And there is our quotient. Okay, so there's two schools of thought here. For various reasons, I like writing this down, negative two-thirds, I write it as negative two-thirds, and then I'm a subtract and then multiply person. But I know the book and some of the teachers prefer to take the opposite of that, so you write down plus two-thirds over here. Okay, and then once you've done the plus two-thirds over here and multiplied everything, out pops your quotient and out pops your remainder, but this time you're adding down and then multiplying. So whichever way you want to do it is strictly up to you.